tomorrow is my birthday and today my mom and I are going to Bainbridge Island and going to Bloedel Reserve and walking around, getting lunch. I don't know. I'm feeling really weird about my birthday this year and I'm not like overly excited, kind of indifferent, which makes me a little sad. I think I've just been feeling a little sad in general. I've just been in a way <laughs> recovering from my dad being here and processing all of that but we're gonna go to Bainbridge and we're going to go get the ferry right now nobody tells you how hard survivorship is going to be and when you try and talk about it you are often met with a lot of comments from others like you should just be happy which doesn't help matters because trust me we are already struggling with the guilt for that oh it smells like cedar so I'm gonna talk about it Openly. If you are new here, I am Amanda and I just turned 44 and I guess you can say I live a bit of an unconventional life for a 44 year old. I'm single, child free, I live below my mom and I'm recovering from cancer. I actually still have nine months of maintenance treatment left and then I am supposed to be done done. I live with my dog Baker and my cat Louie who are basically just like my children. They are the bestest fur babies one could ask for and they bring me a lot of joy, especially as I navigate this new reality I find myself in. Lately, I've really been struggling. I feel incredibly lost, like I just woke up one day in a life that was never supposed to be mine. And things I thought I had grieved and put to bed are resurfacing. This idea that I don't have my own little family. I never met that person. I never had kids. I never even really found a career path that I thrived in. I mean, I love what I do, but I can't help but wonder if it's really sustainable for the next 20 years. What if I get sick again? I can't help but feel disappointed with certain parts of my life and I wonder, is this normal for a 44 year old? Is there something wrong with me? Maybe I need to go back to therapy and talk to somebody about all of this, but I'm tired of pretending like I'm okay with all aspects of my life because I'm not. Things have honestly been really hard for the last few weeks. I think my dad coming to town really threw me off emotionally and I just haven't recovered. Or it opened some kind of Pandora's box and now I'm left swirling in all of these unresolved feelings. All I know is I am not happy with my life. I want more for myself, but I also don't really know what I want. I don't really know what that more looks like. My days feel a bit like Groundhog's Day and, and I can't help but wonder, is this really it? Because I always thought my life would be so much bigger. I have been diving back into some personal development work and one of the questions I have been working on is what does my magnetic self look like? And honestly, I've been staring at a blank page for days now. I don't know, but I guess I'm realizing it's time to find out. over it but I got hands down one of the worst flus I have ever gotten the day before actually it really came to head on my birthday so my birthday was September 6th and I that Thursday my mom and I went to Bloedel Reserve which is on Bainbridge Island here in Seattle and I started getting a sore throat and then thought maybe it was just smoke in the air or maybe some allergies and then as the day progressed it got worse and worse and the next day I woke up on my birthday just did not feel good and had a pretty significant sore throat 
except I didn't want to go into urgent care because it was my birthday and I <laughs> but I still didn't do anything and then by the next morning I woke up with a fever and just it felt like swallowing razor, razor blades so I went into urgent care and ended up having 101 degree temperature but I didn't have strep I didn't have COVID I didn't have influenza I didn't have mono any kind of upper respiratory so I just had some kind of flu. Finally, probably Tuesday, I started feeling more and more like myself. Yeah, and now I'm just having a hard time getting back into the swing of things. I'm still tired. It's definitely, definitely transitioning into fall here. It's gloomy, but I like it. I'm just having a day of getting some projects done, going through my clothes finally, going through cabinets finally and just cleaning out things which makes me reminds me of a funny comment somebody just recently left on my last video and they said something to the extent they're like you sure clean a lot and i just thought it was so funny because i wanted to be like well don't you clean on a regular basis like maybe i put out a video once a week once every two weeks and i'm cleaning in it that should be the minimum cleaning once a week in my opinion i have two pets so anyways that made me laugh so i'm gonna go grocery shopping and i'm gonna make fire cider so it takes about two months to cure last winter when i was taking that on a regular basis i didn't get sick at all so i'm gonna make that it'll be ready to start consuming by november mid-november i am gonna go get ingredients for that i want to make just a cozy yummy dinner tonight I found this recipe, this chicken recipe, Dijon chicken recipe, and I want to make an apple crisp breakfast casserole because that sounds yummy too. And I might go out to the shop and get a little bit of work done. And maybe I will lay around and read my book for a while. I don't know. I'm just feeling really off. I've been feeling really off for a couple weeks now. I just I can't quite figure out what is next and what I want, <laughs> which sounds so silly as a 44 year old, not knowing what I want. I feel like I almost need to get like a part-time job just to have something to go do because working for myself and being home alone and being single and not having a tremendous amount of friends, I feel like maybe if I went and got a part-time job somewhere, it would provide a little bit more of that social aspect so that when I come home, I am so excited to be alone as opposed to just feeling a little bit like Groundhog's Day every day doing the same thing and day out but we can get more into all of that later i'm gonna go grocery shopping now and get started on the fire cider i think what i'm realizing is i'm not even sure what i like or enjoy anymore and to be honest that's kind of embarrassing the other day i was thinking about what my ideal day would be and i just drew a blank and life just can't be we wake up eat work eat go to bed at least for me it can't be that I think part of the problem is that everyone else my age I know is either married, married with kids, their life has taken a very different road than mine and I don't have a lot of friends that I really relate to. So maybe that is a good place to start, making more child-free friends my age, but then I don't even really know where to look for that either. So really where I need to begin is figuring out things that I enjoy doing that don't cost a lot of money and start there. And hopefully in doing so, I will meet people just like me along the way. Recently, I heard a statistic that we are spending three hours less each week with friends than we used to. On average, the norm was about six hours a week. But I'm not really someone that needs a lot of time with other people. But I do think given that I work from home and for myself, it's important for me to put in that extra effort each week to make plans. I do find that when I do have at least two things a week that I'm looking forward to, I feel a lot more content in my life. Some of the other things I've been thinking about is once a week getting outside of the area I live in and going to a yoga class or a bar class in a studio with other people, just feeling like I'm in a sense of community. I also would love to join a book club and then once a week I want to start dating myself and go do some kind of fun act and go do some kind of fun activity. I know that this is easier said than done as a self-proclaimed hermit, which I definitely am and especially around this time of year, but I also know that if I want things to change, I'm the only one who can change them. 
If I've learned anything this year, it is that life is fleeting and it goes by really, really fast. I don't know if and when my cancer will come back, which in a way adds a little bit more pressure to live a really big and good life, but I'm working on eliminating that sense of pressure and just doing things because I want to. I just want to live a life that feels content and peaceful and get rid of at and get rid of any sort of outside and get rid of any sort and get rid of any sort of outside pressure to live a certain way. So it's been about a week since I filmed all of that and I would like to say that I'm doing a lot better, which is true. I'm a little tired today. I went to an auction last night for the Pal Drescher Ovarian Cancer Foundation and it was amazing. The Drescher part of that is my oncologist and the Pal part is my friend Sasha who co-founded with Dr. Drescher, my oncologist. And it was really nice being amongst peers and and other fellow ovarian cancer survivors. It was just a really, really nice night and I had two cocktails and I'm rather tired today because of it. I also spent this morning with my nieces, which was really great. All of this to say, I just wanted to check in at the end of this video and just let you know that a lot of what I was feeling has passed and or I've processed through it and I'm feeling pretty good now. I think all of those feelings are perfectly natural. They're human. I think that it's relatively common, especially given my age group, to feel the things that I've been feeling. I'm just a verbal processor, so I think that sometimes if I don't process how I'm feeling with people, can start to compound and then I get in a pretty depressive funk. If you're into all of like the woo-woo stuff, like um, astrology, I know that there was a eclipse that happened on the 17th or a, a big uh, blue moon or pink moon, I don't know, some color moon. It was very intense and I know that emotionally I struggle with the ebbs and flows of all of that too. So, but yeah, I think that I'm just going to continue talking about all of it. You know, one of the things that I have recognized is I don't watch my nieces on a regular basis anymore, which was very fulfilling for me. So this past week I went and watched them for the day and then they came over this morning and I just love being around them. So I'm figuring it out. And I signed up for a week at this bar and yoga studio. And I got out. I've been getting out and going to classes. And I'm going on a walk with a girlfriend tomorrow. And then I'm leaving again. And I'm going out of town. And so, you know, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Slow and steady, but I am figuring it out. And I'm going to be great. And I think... I just have to give myself grace and know that the things that I'm feeling are natural and normal and there's nothing wrong with me and and I can have a very fulfilling and happy life and I do. And yeah, I think things are looking up. So I'm going to go take a nap now because I'm tired. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to follow, hit the thumbs up and the like. It really helps to circulate these videos if you hit all of the buttons. And yeah. I will see you next time and I hope you are well. Bye.